One, two, three. We are at the highest point of the Appalachian Trail. We are the Crawfords. We have six kids and are hiking the Appalachian Trail, a 2,200 mile hike from Georgia to Maine. We don't know if we can finish it, but we are doing it together. Yeah. Looks like we got two inches of snow out there. Oh no, eating some frozen pop tarts. These are our socks that were drying overnight. They're just like frozen. Rainier's little front pillow thing is frozen. I can't open up my shoes or even like bend them. <laughs> <laughs> Took me five minutes to get my foot in my shoe. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez, it won't even move. Everything but lightening up. Like my shoelaces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Rainier is ready to go. We are off that experience in the shelter last night. Yeah, shelter last night was really unbelievable. I mean, we got in and we were just supposed to spend 10 minutes there and we were getting ready to go and it started just freezing rain and people started offering to scoot over and smash together. Guys were offering to go <clears throat> and pitch tents out in the snow and there's supposed to be a blizzard, which there is right now. People were offering to sleep in the mud and the dirt. And everyone just like banded together to help our family. I couldn't believe it. I mean, there's like eight of us with like a crying baby. And it's like, you know, this stuff is like, life or death feeling for small kids. So when people are offering to help my kids, I was just like sitting in the sleeping bag like crying last night because I couldn't believe how helpful and loving everyone was to us. Stuff like that, that makes us worth it I think. Right now, we have 13 miles or so to go, and these are our conditions. Can't even see the trail, except for a couple of guys have gone ahead of us. And we hope the road is open for my parents to pick us up. But we don't even know that either. Okay, we made it to our first break point. This is the shelter we were supposed to stay at last night, so it's two miles. I think he's doing good. He's all tucked away in there. He is <sighs> crazy. Beast mode out here. Yes. Really crazy. <laughs> we are just trekking along here. The last shelter. The people there hooked us up with some chocolate and some water, which was really kind of them. We're just singing songs, walking in the woods. Heading uphill. The kids are ahead of us. We're trying to stay together with them. This is probably one of the most dangerous times because it's a little bit hard to see the trail. So the worst thing that can happen is we get off the trail. Oh, you can't see? Okay, we're having this issue where the sleeping bag keeps on blocking Rainier's face and he gets pissed about it. But he lets us know. But I think He's plenty warm back there. As crazy cold as this looks, it's not as cold as other times we've had on the trail already. We've had some gusts of winds that have been pretty bad, but this right here is not that bad.
visibility out here is jack shit. So we can't really see how much further we have to go or anything like that to get to the top. But the altimeter says 6,500 feet. So I think we're getting close. All right. One, two, three. We are at the highest point of the Appalachian Trail. Oh yeah. Oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> All right, we just passed the highest point on the AT. This guy's asleep. So I'm gonna try to cover him as, oh gosh, as much as I can without waking him up. Um, can you turn this way, Ben? Without getting tons of snow on his face, but okay. Okay, let's see if this works. Just want like a shield here. Yeah, cover it all. We just saw a sign uh, that we are four and a half miles from the parking lot. I don't think it's stopped snowing for one second the entire day. Um, everyone seems to be holding up okay, but it's pretty impossible to take breaks with like food or water or even to go pee and this stuff. So we're heading for that parking lot. At this point, I'm thinking the road's closed and we're not getting a ride out of here today. But Miracles happen, and either way, we'll just wait down there until we can get out of here. All right, I think we have like three or three and a half miles left to the road, but man, it's not looking good. I, f I feel like I'm gonna be, we're gonna be so disappointed, but we're not gonna be picked up tonight. But, I guess we'll make the best of it if that happens. But I've been praying that some sort of miracle would happen. I don't know, somehow, some way, someone would pick us up. Don't know how. <sighs> One of the cool things that's going on right now though is everyone's just going in a line with Falia leading. And we're actually going really fast. And everyone's just saying like, good job to each other and helping each other up when we fall down because we're all kind of slipping in the snow. So watch this. Good job, Rainier. Thank you. <laughs> That's what he's been saying. This is starting to feel a little bit like hot. None of us are wearing boots. We're all just wearing like basically glorified tennis shoes. And our feet are just like crazy deep in the snow here. Whoa, look at this. Dang. Okay, we are at some sort of Something. There's a sign up here. What? Yay! Look at this snow field. I'm hoping this is the road, but I don't see anyone here. What does it say? Okay, it's a false alarm. We still have 1.7 miles. Coming up to the parking lot oh, through very deep snow after 12 miles. This road is slippery. You check all those cars? It looks like the road's closed, huh? Oh, shoot. I think the road is closed. Okay, we got some heated bathrooms over here though. Oh. 
This might be the actual road here. Oh my gosh. Oh! Dude, this road is solid ice. I can't even stand up. Oh. oh, it is warm in here. Okay. Something pretty unconventional is happening tonight. We are sleeping in a bathroom. Woo! We're trying to make the best of it. It is actually it was a huge bummer because we came down to the road where we're going to get picked up by Ben's parents and the road is closed because of the weather. So the good side of that is that there's this semi-heated bathroom that we're like camping out in tonight. Hopefully just one night. Our hope is that the road opens up tomorrow morning would be really good. So we came in here, there's like a leaky faucet that's just drip, drip, drip. So the whole floor it's a little foggy, Ben. Is that okay? No. So I'm gonna have to start all over. We've got the stalls that we're hanging things on, and we'll probably go to the bathroom in them too. Then we've got our bed. We've got it all laid out here for us to sleep here tonight. And it's on a Tyvek, so it's all 100% hygienic. Yeah, the white <laughs> underneath. And we're having kind of a miss, miss, uh, we're having kind of a mix, <laughs> mismatch, mix, whatever. We're having kind of a hodgepodge of food of whatever we had left. Hopefully we get picked up tomorrow or we're going to have to go forage somewhere in the, <laughs> underneath all the snow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, we're basically almost out of food, so. All right, we're all settled in bed here. All eight of us. Hey, lay down, you. Lay down. <laughs> yeah, you're crazy. We did 12 and a half miles today. And now we're going to sleep at 7 p.m. because that's what you do when you don't have anything else to do but hang out in a bathroom. <laughs> Good night.